index set. Uh, by arbitrary, I mean, you know, um, like natural numbered indices, uh, finite number of them. Um, so this proof is like, I don't know if it's sketchy or hand wavy or like it's kind of like deceptively simple. But in any case, so the thing you want to show, and this is just stating De Morgan's law, is that the complement of the union of sets is equal to the intersection of the complement of those sets. Okay, and so instead of having to keep writing this out, I'm just calling this set A and this set B. So one thing that you have to know to follow this proof is what it means to show set equality. Okay, so to show that set A is equal to set B, it's sufficient to show that A is a subset of B, which means that if omega is in A, it implies that omega is in B, and also that B is a subset of A, uh, meaning that omega in B implies that omega is in A. Okay, so we need to show that this is, implication is true. So let's just assume that omega is in A. Okay, so what this is saying is like, okay, if these are our sets, and I mean maybe I have like a dot 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 here, because maybe, maybe there's other sets. Maybe they intersect. Maybe there's a bunch of disjoint sets. Uh, the, the point anyway is like, what is A talking about? Well, take the union of all of these sets, so it's basically anything on the interior of all of these sets, and it's the complement of that. So it's any, anything on the outside of all of these sets. So for instance, this point would be in A, this point would be in A, this point would be in A, this point would not be in A. Okay. So we're talking about the complement of the union of all of the sets. Okay. So what does it mean for, if we know that omega is in A, what does this mean? Okay, well, it means that Well, what can we say about a point such as this in relation to each of the sets? Well, we can certainly say that omega is not in any one of the sets. So what we can say is that for all ci, Omega is in the complement of CI, right? Because if you take any one of these sets in isolation, given that Omega isn't on the interior of that set, with respect to each set, you can certainly say that Omega is in the complement of that set. Now, with respect to each set, there are places in the complement of that set that omega can't be. For instance, if we're talking, if we call this C1 and this C2. Okay. Well, not C1 could be one of these points in C2. But if omega is coming from this set A, we can certainly say that it's in the complement of C1, though it can't be anywhere in the complement of C1. Which brings us to our next point. If for all Ci, omega is in the complement, then all that's really saying is that omega is not in C1 and it's not in C2 and it's not in C3. In fact, it's in the complement of C1 
and it's in the complement of C2, and it's in the complement of C3. It's in the complement of each C simultaneously. So it's in their intersection. Okay, so if omega is in this intersection, well, that means that omega is in the set we've defined as B. So omega being in A implies that omega is in B. Now what about the other way around? What if omega is in B? Okay, well, even though it's the same, same diagram, we're just gonna, we're gonna look down here. This means that if we take any set's complement Okay, here's, here's how you want to think about it. So omega is not in C1, which means it could be out here, or it could be like in here. Okay, but then we put a further condition on it, and we say that it's also not in C2, so that bumps it out of C2. So now it could be anywhere in here, or here, or out here. But no, we put a further condition on it that it's not in C3. It's not, it's not in C anything. It's in, it's in the intersection of the complement of each of these sets. But we, we already know that. Specifically, you can say that for all CI, omega is not in CI, okay? Anytime, anytime you think it can be in the next C, you get bumped out because it's the intersection of all of these complements. Okay, so that that pushes us into this zone where you're, you're not allowed to be in any of these sets. But what, what is the space outside of all of these sets? Well, it's simply the complement of the union of all of the sets. which means that omega is in A. Therefore, omega being in, in B implies that omega is in A. Okay, and so with that, we, we complete the proof And that's all I have to say about it.